good to see you again. Well, I'm just getting ready for a brand new series of Art Attack, which starts in January, but with Christmas being just around the corner, I thought I'd hang up some decorations, get the old big cracker out, and come up with some Christmassy ideas for you. So welcome to my Art Attack Christmas Cracker. <laughs> noticed how at this time of year there's always loads of scrap paper lying around, bits of Christmas wrapping paper, carrier bags from the shopping, even bits of old decorations. Well, don't throw them away, turn them into a Christmas wreath. Now, to make a Christmas wreath, just take a dinner plate and place it onto a piece of cardboard box card and then just draw around the outside of the plate to create a circle and then draw another circle around that circle, roughly two centimetres wider than your first circle. And it doesn't need to be neat, just a rough circle, two centimetres wide all the way round. And then cut out the middle bit and cut out the outside bit. And if you have trouble cutting cardboard, you can always just wet it with a bit of water along the lines. And when you've cut it out, you'll have a cardboard ring. And again, it doesn't need to be perfectly neat around the outside edge. And the idea is to cover this cardboard ring. Now, you cover it with whatever Christmassy scraps of paper you can lay your hand on. And the idea is to cut all that paper into long strips that are roughly six centimetres wide. And this is the clever bit. Watch this. You just then cut snips along one edge of these strips, but you must only cut a third of the way into the strip. Whatever you do, don't cut all the way across. You can measure it if you want, but it doesn't need to be deadly accurate, but just cut a third of the way across. And when you've done that, Turn the strip over the other side and cut snips in to the other side. Again, a third of the way across. Whatever you do, don't cut all the way across. The idea is to leave that uncut strip running down the middle. So just cut a third of the way in on each side. So you now have a sort of frilly strip. And then put a piece of sticky tape on one end, take your cardboard ring and just tape the frilly strip to the cardboard ring and then, yeah, you've got it. Just wind it round really tightly around that cardboard ring till you've completely used up that cut frilly strip and then just tape that into place like that. And the idea is to make lots of frilly strips and completely cover that cardboard ring in the same way. Tape it to the ring and wind it round. And when you've done that, you'll have something that looks like that. That looks brilliant, doesn't it? And then just fluff it up with your hands to create a nice bushy effect and to cover that cardboard ring underneath. Now, you can, if you want to, do just one colour, like this one I've done, or you could try several colours. How's about doing a two-tone Christmas wreath, like that? Now, this is just blue and white shiny plastic bag. And when this is done, it looks absolutely Fantastic. Look at that. Real good effect. It looks very frosty. And I've just wound the blue one around the white one. And you can actually tape other bits and pieces onto it. What about taping on an old strip of tinsel? And that looks very frosty. Or what about this? You could even tape on some other bits and pieces. What about some old bits of ribbon and just cut those to shape like that? And even put on some glitter balls and they're very easy to make. Just take some sticky tape and then roll it into your hands until you've got a sticky tape ball and then roll that around into some glitter. Just push it into the glitter and roll it all the way round and then just simply pop it onto your wreath and it's self-sticking. Looks brilliant, doesn't it? And what about this one? Look at this. I've done this one out of shiny wrapping up paper, Christmas wrapping up paper, and that really does look Frosty man. <laughs> and then you can tie some cotton or ribbon around the top of your Christmas wreath and hang it up in your house somewhere for all to see. Not bad for a few scraps of paper, eh? Try it yourself, a Christmas wreath. Ho, 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 ho. It's 
scratch the head here. Merry Christmas! They were very festive and all out of scraps. Now, to make your own, draw around a plate onto some card and then draw another circle around the outside. Cut it out to get your card ring. Then, Using strips of scrap paper about six centimetres wide, cut snips down one side and snips down the other. But don't cut all the way through. Do lots and then wind the pieces round the ring. When you've finished, fluff it up and you can decorate it with other festive bits and bobs. And there you have a right royal rubbish wreath. Ho, 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 ha, 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 ha. Do you know what I fancy? I fancy building a snowman. Mind you, there's no snow in here. Ah, there's some. Yeah, there's plenty of snow here. I tell you what, though, it's freezing. Thank you. Right, all I need to do now is find somewhere to make my snowman. Thank you. Let's see. Yes, now, somewhere to make a snowman. Cool, it's much prettier than the studio, isn't it? <laughs> Mind you, there's probably too many trees to make a big snowman. Ah, I know. Yes, now, there must be somewhere down there I can make a snowman. Let's go and have a look. Aye, aye, look at this lot. <laughs> they seem to be having fun. Mind you, I'm not surprised, because after all, we are in Seefeld in Austria. Now, this is a famous place for the Winter Olympics, and there's all sorts of winter sports here. Sports for the old fogies, <laughs> and sports for the young fogies. Mind you, I have to say, I'll tell you what my favourite sport is. Sleigh riding. So, OK, somewhere to build a snowman. <sighs> well, it's very beautiful here, but there's probably still too many trees. OK, let's go back up the mountain, then. Ah, now this is better. Look down there. See? Just down there. The perfect place. Right then, all I need now is lots of nice fluffy snow to make my snowman. And here it is. There we go. Oh, oh, oh I'll tell you what. Oh, it's not as easy as it looks, you know. Oh, 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 I give up. Well, so much for my snowman. Tell you what, let's try some snowballs. Tell you what I'm going to do, team. I'm going to invite you all to pelt me with snowballs. Watch this. Ah, rubbish! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Pathetic! And why? It's the wrong type of snow. You see, to make snowmen and snowballs, the snow has to be all compact and quite wet. This is very powdery and dry snow. No good for snowmen. Hmm. So, I've got the perfect place, I've got lots of snow, but it's not the right type. So how am I going to build my snowman? Ah, I know how I can build a snowman.
just, just brilliant. And wasn't he lucky that they couldn't make proper snowballs to throw at him over there? No, oh, no, oh, no problem with the snow over here then. Oh, oi! You noticed how at this time of year everything's really Christmassy. The shops, the decorations, presents. But have you ever wondered what is it that actually makes things look Christmassy? Is it snow? Is it sleigh bells? Or could it be this stuff? Holly. You know, it's amazing. You can draw holly onto nearly anything at all and make it look Christmassy. Now, watch this. I've got an ordinary cheap envelope and I'm going to turn it into a Christmassy envelope just by drawing on some holly. Now, if you've ever taken a close look at holly, or indeed if you've ever held holly in your hand, you'll know that it's got spiky leaves. Now, they're really deep green leaves, but they've got spikes on them. So when you're drawing your holly leaf, it's just a case of drawing a load of spikes along the edge. And it's a bit like drawing ocean waves like that. Look at that. Ocean wave there, and one upside down, and there you have your holly shape. And again, colour it in this really deep green. You know, it's amazing how many things to do with Christmas are green and red. Well, maybe that's got something to do with holly. Because again, if you take a close look at the holly, you'll notice, as well as those spiky leaves, it's got those really deep red berries. So I'll just put those on to my picture there. And then I'm just going to outline the whole thing. You don't have to do this, but if I outline it, a very thin black line, then it makes it look even spikier. I don't know whether you've ever held holly, but it can be quite unpleasant. So when you do see it at Christmas, steer clear of it. Because it's half sharp. I'm just going to go around those berries, black outline, and put a line down the middle of the leaves, and there it is. And if I do the same, in the opposite diagonal corner, two corners, and there I've transformed an ordinary cheap envelope into a really expensive looking Christmassy envelope. And you could try this. Take an ordinary piece of white card or thick paper, cut a rectangle, fold it in half, and make some place cards for your Christmas dinner table by writing your guests' names on the front and just creating a border of holly around the outside. And look at that, I forgot to colour that one in there, so I'll just finish that off. And again, I did the holly in exactly the same way. I mustn't forget those bright red berries. There it is. And I think that looks like a brilliant place card for the Christmas dinner table. And, you know, you can draw holly onto anything. It's best to draw green leaves and red berries, but if you've got something that's really strongly coloured or it's already coloured green and you want to do holly leaves on it, then try these gold and silver pens. And again, they give a really great Christmassy effect. Just draw in the holly leaf in the same way. And the holly leaves don't need to be neat. Just draw these upside down and right side up ocean waves, a couple of berries, and there you have it. And again, that gives a really good Christmassy effect. Now, have you ever seen these things? These are brilliant. These are glitter and glue pens, and it's just a case of squeezing the pen and the glue and the glitter come out at exactly the same time. And it's absolutely perfect for creating really spiky holly. See that? Just squeezing it out at the same time, and when it dries, it gives it a really good glittery Christmassy effect. And what I've done here is I've threaded some ribbon through a piece of card and I'm just going to create a Christmas gift tag. In fact, there are lots of different things you can do with holly. Look at this lot. I've created some gift wrap just by drawing holly onto some pieces of paper. I've cut out some thin card, thin green card, into holly shapes. And you can do your place cards. You could even decorate some crackers and make them look really Christmassy. Try it yourself and have a holly Christmas. Oh, what a good way of turning something Christmassy in an instant. Just add some holly here, there and everywhere.
How's about a Christmas card with a difference? A fat Christmas card. Take a piece of thin card, any colour you like but a plain colour, and then fold it in half to create a Christmas card shape, and then cut another piece of card slightly smaller than the front of that first card, and if you can, get a different colour. And then take that piece of card and draw a circle on it. Draw a circle in the middle, and the idea is to draw your Christmas card design on that circle. Now, you're going to be doing a fat Christmas card, so do a design of something that's fat and at this time of year what's fat for the Christmas use the circle for his tummy so I'm just going to do the detail of his tummy onto that circle and he can do other fat Christmassy things such as a robin maybe a snowman maybe even a Christmas pud but the idea is to just make it nice and fat and plump and round. And once you've put the fat bit in, put the rest of the detail around your circle. Uh, just do his beard and his moustache and his jolly round face. Again, nice and plump. And his little cartoony eyes in there. Just keep it really simple, nothing too detailed. Just put a nice chubby hand in here with all the fluffy white bits around. It's quite easy to draw Santa, isn't it, really? And once you've done that, cut out the middle bit, just the bit that's in the circle. And the best way to do that is to pop a sharp pencil through it like that to get your scissors in and cut that circle out so that you have something that looks like that. And don't worry about ruining that middle bit because you won't need it in the end, but just put it to one side for the time being. Then take a piece of thin drawing paper and soften it up by crunching it up and opening it out. And the idea is to make it very soft by creasing it loads of times. Now, you won't believe it, but I've been doing this one all day, and look at that, it's really nice and soft now. It's got loads of creases in it. And then put this on the back of your card, and this piece of thin paper needs to be just a bit smaller than your card, and the idea is to line it up on the back and just press the middle through the middle of your card. See that, the way it's going through? And when you're happy with that, turn it over and tape it into place. Now, I'm just going to tape it really quickly to show you. You can put loads of tape on and make it nice and secure. And then stuff it with scraps of paper or newspaper balls, and they're going in the back. And when you're happy with that, see that? Nice stuffing there, so it's nice and fat. Just tape all of that stuffing into place on the back, just to make it secure. And then put some glue, nice strong glue, around the back, a couple of dabs in the corner. Now, it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but don't worry, because if you bring the other card back in, pop that into place, and then just position this very carefully over the card, and then press it into place. And all that glue squelching down, and his tummy is squelching out. And then put it to one side to dry. And when it's dry, you just bring that circle that you cut out back in, and then copy the detail from the circle onto your nice, fat tummy. And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything at this stage, because we're going to be painting it in a minute. And you just press very lightly with your pen. You don't want to go through the paper. And just put in all of that detail. Like that. And when you've done that, colour it in. Use felt-tip pens, paint, crayons, whatever you want. And this is mine, look at that. I've used poster paint for that. And this is nice fat tummy, I've even painted that as well. And I've gone around all the detail with some black pen and I've done a border around the edge just to finish it off. And there it is, a fat Christmas card. And you can do any Christmassy design you like, as long as it's fat, plump and round. Oh, and there is one other thing. Make sure you do your card so it stands up this way, not that way, otherwise it'll fall over because <laughs> it's too fat. <laughs> Try it yourself, a fat Christmas card.
Very jolly cards. Just draw a circle on a piece of card and draw your design using the circle as the fat bit. Cut the circle out. Push a piece of softened paper through the hole from the back to stuff it and tape it into place. Then you just paint it. Stick that to another piece of folded card to get a very friendly, fat Christmas card. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Well, that's it. A few Christmassy art attacks for you. Try them yourself, and I'll be back in January with a brand new series of art attack. Until then, have a cracking Christmas. Ta-ra! <laughs>